everybody, RC here from photopromos.com. I want to talk to you about one piece of software that's included inside of the Big Deal 2016, and that is Photo Mechanic from Camera Bits. Now, Photo Mechanic is a standalone software. It is a browser, it's a workflow accelerator. It's the fastest viewer for your digital pictures. But what does that mean? How do people use it inside of a workflow? Well, that's what I want to talk about here. Let's do some role playing, right? So I have shot a series of pictures here in Lightroom. I'm gonna take a look at them. Now, this is part of a project that I'm working on. I'm promoting positive images of people with obesity. So I have to do a white wall shoot for all of this and I shot it with a 5D Mark III. Now, I've gotta go through all of these pictures and I have 774 pictures here. I'm gonna double click on one of them and now, if they've cached, then great. But look, loading, loading, wait, loading, loading, wait. Oh, loading, 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 wait, loading, loading. That amount of time that you have to wait for the loading to happen for pictures is something that could be infuriating if you're working with, let's say, 1,500 pictures or 3,000 pictures. Imagine shooting a wedding and you have to click and load and load and wait. So. Sometimes what people do is they use an external program like Photo Mechanic. As a matter of fact, to be honest with you, almost everybody uses it when they need this kind of speed. I love Lightroom. I think Lightroom's a great program. But if I need to put the pedal to the metal, what I want is to do Photo Mechanic. What I'll do here is I, instead of dumping it through the import of Lightroom, I'll grab and I'll dump into a folder on my desktop. Once I have it on the desktop, I'm going to drag this into Photo Mechanic. Once I'm in Photo Mechanic, I'm going to go into the Preferences for Photo Mechanic and inside of here, go to the section that says Preview. And in Preview, make sure that it says Automatically Advance the Next Photo when the color class is changed. We're going to use those color classes. Now watch this. I'm going to double click on one picture. There's the picture. And notice that under Image, you have Set Color Class of Photos. Winner is Command 1, Trash is Command 8. Let's say this is something that I don't want. Command 8, 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 Command 8. Now, but look at how fast you're going through these pictures. Look, is there any loading? You see them blur when you go super fast, but the moment you stop, there they are. No, 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 But you're stopping and it's automatically there. And then at that point, come on, come on, one, 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 eight, 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 one, one, eight, 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 one. So now, <laughs> I like that picture, stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this close and you'll notice that some pictures have been marked as winners and some pictures have been marked as trash. That's good, you've done a lot of that calling. All you gotta do now is get rid of the trash, right? So I'm gonna zoom down here just so you can see. Notice that right here, there's an option for you to hide all of the pictures that happen to be trash. You can hide all the pictures that happen to be winners, but if you option click on this hide, what it does is it shows you only the trash. Select all, Command A, right click, delete selected photos. Oh, pardon. Right click, delete selected photos. Click OK, and now the collection that you have here, I'm gonna option click the trash again, has all of the trash taken out of I can quit Photo Mechanic right from here and drag this pruned collection now into Lightroom. So that one step, bypassing that one step, I think is vital because you have speed at your side. And I think that that's the part that you need to focus on when you're working with pictures, right? If you have to go through them very, very quickly, how fast can you do that? So a lot of people that work in the business rely on photo mechanic to do that. I'm just going, look, I'm going to pay you 150 bucks just to save me that time because I need that time. But you don't have to pay 150 bucks now. You can get it as part of the big deal. This is over $3,000 worth of software. Photo Mechanic 5 is included as part of that. So big thank you to Camera Bits for providing that software to all of you guys. And hopefully now you guys have a way to be able to leverage the power of that in your photography. My name is RC. Thanks for watching.